we count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl KK Reed. So today's reading is going to be, what are people assuming about you? So I hope that these messages resonate. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and we're going to jump right on into it. Um, yeah, so let's see. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit. Guys, what are people assuming about pile number one? What are people assuming about pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit. Guys, what are people assuming about pile number one? We have judgment and then we also have indecision. So if people are assuming about you that they made a bad judgment call, okay? Now, this could be a lot of different aspects. I really feel like it's more so like kind of leaving you alone, leaving you behind or a certain decision that they may have made, okay? Um, maybe when they made that decision, they was very confused and they may have um, made a decision out of spite. What people are assuming about you also is... That is their opinion, but I feel like for you, the viewer, I feel like um, what people are assuming about you is that you are someone that makes really good judgment calls you get what i'm saying so it's like if somebody's confused about you and you may feel a confusion or if, even if you're confused about a person i feel like you take that as all right you know i'm not gonna even bother with the situation once you feel confused or once you feel conflicted like you don't know what to do how to do it whatever the case is i do feel like um you will make a quick judgment call and be like all right i'm not gonna deal with this anymore or i might continue to deal with this depending on what the situation may be okay so let's get some tarot what are people assuming about pal number one? Now, I feel like it's also easy for you to walk away from things. Like I said, once you start feeling confused, maybe even feeling conflicted or argumentative about, um, like even with yourself, like if you beat yourself up about a certain situation, you're like, nah, this is not even worth it because it starts to drain your energy, right? What are people assuming about pal number one? We have the page of wands. What are people assuming about pal number one? <clears throat> we have the knight of swords what are people assuming about pound number one we have the queen of pentacles what are people assuming about pound number one we have the page i'm sorry the queen of cups what are people assuming about pound number one we have the eight of we have the eight of pentacles. What are people assuming about pile number one? Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. We have the ace of pentacles. What are people assuming about pile number one? We have the six of swords. What are people assuming about pile number one? Four of swords. And last but not least, what are people assuming about pile number one? Give me one more card, please. Universe. And we have the world card. Overall energy for this reading is the high priestess. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. We also have the nine of wands. You're very protective of your energy. We have the ten of wands because you've been through a, a lot of stuff. Of course, with it being at the back of the, the, the deck, you're not over it, but you're definitely not in that space of carrying burdens. You're not in that space of, you know, um, when people go through things, it's like you have to help. I feel like you're not that person anymore. Like you're putting that behind you. But what people are assuming about you is you are definitely paving the way for yourself. You're doing something with the page of wands being here that a lot of people may not do. Um, you're in your own lane. You don't want to be like anybody else. You are also someone that is, you create your own narrative. You control your own story. You are the main character of your story. And honestly, even when you get in other people's lives, you are also a main character in their story. You get what I mean? There can be multiple main characters if you so choose to have in your story, meaning that they help you um, pave the way and they also help you, help you with um, like the narrative of your story, if you understand what I'm saying with the Knight of Swords being here, I can tell that you are a person that when you have to, you will defend others, but you also defend yourself. You get what I mean? You're not scared to stand up for yourself. You're not scared to talk back. You're not scared to be like, what the fuck you said? You get what I mean? Um, so that's not even an assumption, that's bare facts. 
you're not a person that people sit there and look at like, yeah, that's the one I can get over on get over on that's the one that i could try to play like a rug absolutely not we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups being here you are so giving you're so loving and you are someone that stands your ground so even if you say no i'm not doing that i feel like that's a really good balance but still these are both very very feminine um signs because like i, um, I like i tell y'all all the time earth signs and um water signs are feminine signs okay whether you are male or female those are feminine signs those go based off of their emotions and it, it, a lot of things play into that play into that very giving people you know they like to the love that they give they want to receive back you get what i mean and, they, and that's a problem if they don't get that so i feel like what people are assuming about you is like i said very career driven you like to look a certain type of way you're very um emotionally given you're emotionally and financially given for sure but you are also that you are also a person that stands your ground so if you say no you're gonna that you're standing on business with that no okay um you have this very grounded energy about you where people feel comfortable and this you have this grounded nurturing healing kind of energy about you so it's like it's very easy for people to speak to you and talk to you about certain things without being or feeling judged in a sense um what people assume about you with the eight of pentacles and the the eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles which would be like the nine of pentacles you are someone that's very hard work and you're not scared of your individuality you're not scared to be different you're not scared to be you know kind of shunned out or you know be the outcast be the only person doing something you're not scared i feel like some of you could be also I, i've seen somebody jumping on a bar and dancing on the table or dancing on the bar i, I don't feel like you you may be that type of person but you are also not you, you are someone that is okay with being in the spotlight you okay with being in the background too but i feel like you enjoy people seeing you you know being noticed that's why you take care of yourself a certain type of way when you go outside you take you like you like looking presentable you like your hair being done you know you like you just some of you like wearing the um like name brand stuff and even if you're not wearing name brand stuff and it may be like um cheap clothes or whatever you still make sure that you look really good all right i feel like you're very consistent with the eight of pentacles being here when it comes to your looks when it comes to you know your emotions and feelings and things like that some of you may also meditate it doesn't have to be that but i also feel like some of you could be very much a perfectionist okay so let's say like you are someone that has a certain type of style you're not gonna go outside until you like what you look like you're not gonna sit there and um allow anybody else to look a certain type of way while they're outside with you you know what i mean like you could look like that by yourself but when you with me like come on let's get it together um we also have um the six of swords and the four of swords being here what people assume about you is that i feel like you are someone that your energy sometimes tends to get drained very easily and sometimes you have to distance yourself for um for a little while when it comes to people and with the high priestess being here that's also a confirmation to me that you are someone that's most likely like an impact or like an earth angel um you are someone that could be into spirituality and things like that so you know when you need to you like your, your battery is low and you need to recharge and things like that um with the world card being here some of you could be um like i'm here in international so you may have um uh, we are all mixed with a lot of things but you could be someone that's in, mixed with a lot of things that and you know what your, what your background is very well versed or versatile <clears throat> excuse me you are someone that um you may like to travel and things like that but this is your world and people are just living in it you get what i'm saying like this is why what i mean by you are the main character in a lot of people's story whether you are um a villain or you are the superhero you are the main character in a lot of people's story like a lot of people care about you more than what you think okay <laughs> okay um what people assume about you with the nine of wands being here to get over you they may have to block your number they may have to block you on social media they may have to do certain things so they can get over you getting like getting over you or if they tend if if, if somebody has to remove you because you know let's be real i'm not saying that you're a bad person but people go through things and sometimes they have to let certain people go or they can't show up for um for people like how they need to show up because they're they have shit that they have going on in their lives but when it comes to you and having to push you away and be like, okay, you know, pound number one, I need to break this. And it hurts. It doesn't feel good because you're such a, you're such a force to be reckoned with. That's what people assume about you. Like you, I feel like you're a very powerful being, pound number one. Um, let's see what else we have going on here. What are people assuming about pound number one? Some people may even feel like you come from money. Like you're a really good worker, depending on what your job is or your hobby or whatever. You are very consistent. 
like you're very consistent your hard work definitely does pay off you are with the ace of pentacles i'm hearing new money like you are someone that always has a job or you're always someone that finds a way to make money like i feel like even if you're broke you're not ever really broke you know what are people are suing up about pal number one we have number 19 it says dice take a chance what are people assuming about pile number one We also have number 30, smiley face joy. Okay, what are people assuming about pile number one? And we also have number 21, hello again, recycle, recover. This is what I mean. Um, we have number eight, love heart. You are such a lovable person. Like you hold a very special place in people's hearts. Um, what people are assuming about you is um, with the 19 dice chance is that being able to amount to you or being able to even be in your space like they're taking a chance they're taking a gamble like um even though you're not even though you're not judgmental you are still somebody that a person has to like look even looking at the rear, rear view mirror you know what i'm saying like i said you don't have a problem being in the forefront but you also don't have a problem with taking a step back and things like that so when you decide that you want to take a step back i feel like your light is still shining you get what I mean? So I feel like with this number 19 dice, take a chance. Like if somebody wants to lead or if somebody wants to provide or do certain things for you, that's taking a chance. It's taking a gamble because they don't want to fail you. They don't want you to be like, oh, like you're not doing it right. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I just feel like people, um, what people assume about you that they, they don't want to fail you. They have to pay attention. Like they have to look at the front. They have to look at the back. They have to look at everything, you know, all aspects. Like and when you're in the car, you have to pay attention. You get what I'm saying? You have to look at all your mirrors, make sure your mirrors are straight, make sure everything is right. You know, God forbid you don't crash. You know, people don't want to crash out on you. You get what I'm saying? That's what people are assuming about you. Like, they hold you at a high caliber, a high standard. Um, We have number 30, smiley face joy. Like, I, um, when people assume about you, like, you want to be happy. Who doesn't want to be happy? You want to be in a good place. You want to make other people happy. You want to make other people smile and things like that. Again, with the nails, you like having your nails done. You know what I mean? And some of you may like having exquisite nails, like, like maybe long nails, or even if it's short, cute nails, but you like your nails looking a certain type of way you don't like your nails being chipped like i said some of you could be perfectionist it doesn't have to be that and again with this number 21 hello again recycle recover um you are a person that yes sometimes people have to kind of take a break from you take a step back from you um and th this is because they don't want to i i feel like <clears throat> it's because they don't want to feel like they are burdening you you get what i'm saying the people that love you and the people that care about you and the people that like just in general, I really feel like they don't they don't want to lose you. Like you are a person that yet yeah, exes tend to come back to you, ex friends, old friends, people come back to you and they apologize. Like, I'm sorry for doing this. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry for this, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get their way back into your life. Let's get some more. What are people assuming about pound the boy? We have spread your wings. What are people assuming about pound the boy? We have energy activation. What are people assuming about pile number one? One card. What are people assuming about pile number one? And then we also have abundance. This is this is a really good reading. We also have peace. People are assuming that you are peaceful. You have a peace a peaceful mindset. Even if you don't, but what you um, exude and what you show, it looks like you're peaceful. You know, we have spread your wings at any point in time. You can leave. You can find something better. You know your worth. You know your value. You get what I'm saying. You know how you deserve to be treated. With energy activation, some of you are very in tuned with your whoever you deem to be your higher your higher power. You can be someone that's very spiritual. You can be someone that's very religious. You get what I'm saying. Like you are someone that's very faithful you have faith in everything that you do um abundance you are someone that you get a lot of different things you get what i'm saying like you could be very spoiled universe can spoil you all the time because you are deserving of it because you're such a good person but pound number one is all i really have for you i hope that these messages resonate and i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did let me know in the comment section i love you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in the next free peace out ladies. beautiful pound number two is welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl kk reed thank you guys so much for being here so today's reading is going to be what are people assuming about you and we're going to jump right on into your reading okay make these messages as clear as possible universe clear spirit guys what are people assuming about pal number two what are people assuming about pal number two what are people assuming about pal number two universe spirit spirit guys what are people assuming about pal number two
we have surrender and at the bottom of the deck we do have growth what people are assuming about you is that you will let their asses go real quick fast in a hurry because that's the most mature thing that you can do you're not about to argue you're not about to fight you're not about to do anything of that nature you're not about to fight for no one to stay in your life you get what i'm saying you're not about to force yourself into no anyone's life if you tried to fit in or if you tried and it didn't work you'd be like i okay because you have matured you have grown and you know you have you are an adult <laughs> and, and it's time to be like you get what i'm saying i feel like what people assume about you is that you're very mature you get what i'm saying being able to walk away from situations that um may cause you to curse somebody out may maybe even get physical with a person to be able to walk away from situations that is a lot of growth to be able to sit there and be like this 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 situation doesn't even fit the criteria this is not the lifestyle for me <laughs> you get what i'm saying that is a lot of maturity there so let's see what people are assuming about you that's what people are assuming about you that you're very mature all right let's see what we have going on make these messages as clear as possible universe spirit spirit guys what are people assuming about power too? What are people asking about pile number two, universe, spirit, spirit, guys? What are people asking about pile number two? We have the Ten of Cups. What are people asking about pile number two? We have the Page of Pentacles. What are people asking about pile number two? We have the world card. What are people assuming about pile number two? We have the five of swords. What are people assuming about pile number two? What are people assuming about pile number two? We have the double card. I got a message for that. I was thinking about that card. What are people talking about pile number two? We have the King of Swords. What are people assuming about pile number two? We have the Ten of Pentacles. What are people assuming about pile number two? Queen of Wands. What are people assuming about pile number two? We have the Tower card. Over energy for this reading. We have the Three of Swords. Yes, 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 yes. We have the Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. And then we also have the Six of Swords. What people are assuming about you, you could have recently just started getting back into people's lives. Recently started to answer people, talk to people, text people. You know, be more present, you know, in your own life and other people's lives as well. We also we have with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. What people are assuming about you is that you have this newfound happiness, this newfound emotional balance. You get what I mean? Um... I feel like you could have um, unhealthy habits or, you know, you could have a karmic relationship. Um, you know, you could, uh, you, you, honestly, everybody have to be real with, just, um, with, real with themselves. Everybody has narcissistic tendencies. That doesn't mean that you're a narcissist because narcissism is a, um, a disorder. Everybody does not have um, narcissistic, narcissistic imbalance okay but i feel like what people are assuming about you is that you are like i feel like you have done work because with the nine of cups the ten of pentacles that's about completion you get what i'm saying and of course it's always room for more healing it's always room for more learning it's always room to get better okay but the thing about you is with the five of swords being here there has been so many times where there has been like arguments or people acting funny and you're saying like what the fuck is going on like what did i do to you and you had to really take a step back and really see who's for you who's not for you so what people are assuming about you is that you went through a whole entire like um three maybe like a 180 or 360 like you did a whole turnaround you get what i mean like i feel like at one point in time you could have been very immature you get what i'm saying you could have had like a lot of um childish tendencies and if you feel offended by that that hey you feel what i'm saying like are you still there are you still that type of person are you still a person that even with the page of pentacles being here you could have been someone that was not financially stable you could have been someone that had a lack mindset or you could have been very stagnant you get what i'm saying it's okay because everybody is not perfect and everybody is learning it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter about any of those things but what people are assuming about you is that they see that there is growth there is so growth here with the three of swords being here this with the three of swords this could be a heartbreak like somebody like hurt your heart broke your heart a certain situation could have broke your heart and it made you look at yourself within and really sit there and like figure out 
what is the root of the problem why am i like this why don't i like this why can't i keep this why can't you you get what i'm saying sometimes you have to do that because everybody's not the problem so everybody's the problem you're not the issue so what people are assuming about you is that you have found whatever that deep rooted problem is and now you are on a verge and you are in a space of you know getting better you get what I mean? You're getting better. We have the towel card being here. And I feel like you went through a towel moment more than one time or more times than you would like. You get what I'm saying? And now you are in a space of rebuilding, re-imaging yourself, you know, getting better. Because we have the queen of, of wands here. You know, you have all the control. You have all the power. You, you feel me? So that's what people are assuming about you is that you have done some, with the king of swords being here, you have done some thinking. You did some deep-rooted um some maybe some spiritual work you get what i'm saying like you had to really sit there and maybe sit down and write <laughs> or like look back in the memories and like what the fuck was the problem like why didn't this work out why didn't i why didn't i keep this job why did this person that i feel like was a good person didn't want to be with me or what did i do here you get what i mean sometimes like i swear sometimes people you yourself you don't realize that you can be the reason why a lot of things doesn't work out and that's okay you get me but i feel like people are what people are assuming about you what people are seeing and noticing is the fact that you are taking accountability for a lot of things that happen in your life you get me i love that for you look at that you may have had an ego death we have the um the will of fortune the death card and we also have the judgment you may have had an ego death you know what i'm saying like you had a a, a realization a kundalini or a fucking a, a, an epiphany and you like nah i don't like this for myself like i don't like this like you could have went through a lot of heartbreaks you could have been through a lot of different shit you just like why is these things attracted to me you feel me and yes we're gonna keep on going we're gonna keep on going I feel like what people are assuming about you is that you are now more stable or at least you're learning and trying to be more stable. This could be mentally, physically, financially. It's different for everyone. What are people assuming about pound number two? We have number 20. Look at that. We have number 22. It says butterfly metamorphosis. You went through a change. You get what I mean? You went through a change. What are people assuming about pound number two? I did say pound number three, didn't I? I apologize if I did. What are people assuming about pound number two? We have number 38, succulents, um, resilience. What are people assuming about pile number two? We also have number 39, um, water surrender. I just heard calm waters. That means calm emotions. You get me? Not, going, not doing things based off your emotions. You could have been someone that you did not play that shit, bro. Like, if somebody fucked with you, you, you going to do it to them. <laughs> like, you going to do it. We have number 43. It says infinity, un unlimited potential. And you have unlimited potential. And I feel like you've seen that within yourself. With that. But that's also what people are assuming about you. They see that you can do any and everything that you may want in your life. That's why we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. You could be the, you know, the richest mother out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could use your beauty and your, um, uh, attract, your, uh, I said attraction, but yeah, you could use your attraction, your beauty, your handsomeness to do whatever you want to do in your life. You get what I'm saying? Like, you are much more than just your looks, of course, but you know, it doesn't hurt to look good. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like also some of you have even went from being the ugly duck in, duckling to someone that's very attractive and it, it could have been the fact that you, of course, you have always been beautiful, but you have found that beauty within yourself. Some people, some people, you don't see it because, you know, you could have gotten bullied for being fat you could have gotten bullied for being out of shape or not looking like everybody else you get what i'm saying and you didn't realize how beautiful you were you didn't realize how attractive you were you know until you realized that you was that shit and that you went through some with the um number 22 the metamorphosis you went through a change you get what i'm saying and you realized i am beautiful inside and outside i am a beautiful person i don't have to be i don't have to be what you perceive me as i don't have to be what i was perceiving myself as you get what i'm saying and you don't have to be a product of your environment you don't have to be a product of certain situations relationships connections you don't have to be that type of person you could be who you want to be okay and i just realized we have surrendered twice okay so you feel like you, you you surrendered a lot of things this could be people places things behaviors a lot of different stuff what are people assuming about pal number two release i'm not going to take it unless it comes out again what are people assuming about pal number two We have passions. What are people assuming about pound number two? We have resolving issues. What are people assuming about pound number two?
and we also have moving on this is so good oh my gosh we have lovers so what people are assuming about you you have a lot of things that you're passionate about you could be someone that's very creative in a lot of different aspects of a lot of different things or you are just realizing a lot of things that you are interested in okay so what people are assuming about you is that you are very creative and you're very talented okay we have resolving issues and this there are still some deep rooted issues there's still some things that you have to fix and you know you have to um try try to surrender you get what i'm saying we have moving on moving on from what no longer serves you okay and you are opening up these new doors and you starting these new beginnings so pound number two that's all i really have for you i hope that these messages resonated and i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did let me know in the comment section i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next read peace Last babies at least we have pal number three welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl kk reads so anyway today's reading blah, blah, blah. Today's reading is going to be what are people assuming about you? I hope that these messages resonate and I hope that you enjoy this reading and we're going to jump right on into it, okay? So make these messages as clear as possible in the verse spirit. Spirit guys, what are people assuming about pound number three? What are people assuming about pound number three? What are people assuming about pound number three? Make these messages as clear as possible in the verse spirit. Spirit guys, what are people assuming about pound number three? And I heard Keisha Cole. <laughs> so we have love and we also have empathy at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, you could be an empath. You could be full of love. You could be someone that, you know, you give love and show love and things like that. And I feel like what people are assuming about you that they could be in love with you because of how, how empathetic you are, how caring you are, how nurturing you are. You know how, um, I don't want to say that, but you could be available to certain people. Let's put it like that. There's certain people that you may um be as available as you fucking want to be. You get me? Other people like, nah, I don't got time. I'm busy right now. <laughs> But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. What are people assuming about pound number three? And I'm hearing nobody knows me like you do. Nobody's gonna love me quite like you. Can't even deny it. Every time I try it, well, look at my eyes. You know I'm lying, lying. And then the Keisha call I was hearing in my head was love. I ain't about to hit them damn notes. <clears throat> okay. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Knight of Swords. What are people assuming about pound number three? Somebody's in love. We have the Seven of Pentacles. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Queen of Wands. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Eight of Cups. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Nine of Cups. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the King of Wands. Ooh, perfection. Love it. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Knight of Cups. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Seven of Cups. What are people assuming about pound number three? We have the Nine of Swords. Ooh, overall energy is a judgment. And we also have the Four of Cups in the back of the deck. We have the Hermit. You are definitely someone that is very okay. I feel like you're introverted. Um, That's going to be for some of you. That's not going to be for all of you. But I feel like you're introverted because, and it's crazy, but honestly i feel like you're introverted because you're very attractive and you may not like attention that's going to be for some that's not going to be for all of you take what resonates some of you are very attractive or you like to be in a spotlight you know you like people attracted to you you like attention you know i don't think not an att attention seeker some of you could be i don't know but um what people are assuming about you we have the king and the queen of wands like i said you're very attractive you hear what i mean and you're also someone that is very good at painting a narrative and um <clears throat> I also heard portraying yourself as something that you're not. That's what people are assuming about you. So like, let's say, I mean, I'm hearing two different things. So let's say you are someone that like when you are out with your friends, you're so outgoing, this, that, and blah, blah, blah. But then when you inside or when you're in, like in the house or when you're at certain, certain destinations or certain places, you're just very calm, reserved to yourself. 
you can be the light you can be the star of the party but you are also someone that you're very okay with being at home you can be a Sagittarius Leo or an Aries you can have those placements it doesn't have to be or both of your parents could be a fire sign it doesn't have to be that either but it could be um i feel like you're very real you're very authentic with the knight of cups you're very good at giving gifts and i feel like you do a lot of cute gestures maybe cute text messages you know uh, maybe send people notes like you do very goofy things to make a person feel good you know make them more on the softer side when it comes to you right yeah i just feel like you're so lovable that's what people are assuming about you and you're not doing that first of all <laughs> Another thing that people are swimming about you the more that I talk is that you may have a lot of people that do nice things for you, like give you gifts, take you out, you know, do cute little things for you. And, you know, um, people assume that it can be like with the nine, with the, what the hell is this, the seven of cups and the nine of swords it may not be stressful for you, but other people that are pursuing you or wanting you can be very stressful for them. Or I'm also getting a sense that it's like, even if you are dating multiple people, this could be like two, three people, whatever the case is, you're dating multiple people, you're still not satisfied because it's like people don't interest you. You get what I mean? Certain people don't interest you. And it's not, again, I keep getting back to the selfish because the Nine of Cups, I've been, the Nine of Cups has been giving me selfish vibes lately, but um, yeah, people may think that you're selfish because you are talking to multiple multiple people. You know, you giving people a lot of your energy. Like, your, I'm not gonna say energy. You giving multiple people your time and things like that. But it's real. It's really the fact. Like, let's say you are single. Um, if you are someone that is just doing your thing or whatever the case is, why would you not date multiple people if you are single? You know what I'm saying? Once you are in a committed relationship, I feel like you are in a committed relationship. I feel like you're very aligned with yourself when it comes to being like feisty, um, like your passions, your career set, your hobbies and things like that. Um, you know, um, manifesting things. I feel like you are a very blessed individual. Okay in that sense especially like i feel like in a love department it's not hard for you to find somebody that is interested in you it's just that sometimes with the judgment card you may have the poor um poor judgment when it comes to your romantic partners and things like that i feel like you know your worth you know your value it's just that sometimes that's what it is people betray themselves as something and then they wind up being something else so what people assume about assume about you is that it's it's kind of it's not sad but you know sometimes when people see you as an attractive person they see you as someone that looks good they kind of forget that you have other aspects of you like you are someone that's smart you are someone that you know you have feelings you get what i'm saying like you're more than just a, a very attractive face or a nice body you know you are more than that you are someone that's smart you're intelligent you are someone that is worth getting to know you know the depths that's what i feel like with the seven of pentacles like yes you are worth investing in you get what I'm saying? And sometimes with the empath and the love, you have to defend that. It's like, yes, I like going out and doing these things and this, that, and the third. But I also want, you know, reassurance. I also want words of affirmation. Okay, what people are assuming about you is like, I feel like people, even with the Four of Cups being here, we have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, we also have the Three of Swords. What people assume about you is that they don't invest in you like how they're supposed to. People don't treat you like how you're supposed to be treated and then they find they wind up being very regretful, very remorseful because it's like they kind of looked at you as one thing and you're more than just that. You get me? For some of you, it could you could have had situations where people just wanted to be physical with you and nothing more, nothing less. So like I said, they just wanted to have you like arm candy. Male or female doesn't matter. And it's just like, no, you know? So like I said, what people are assuming about you is that they kind of fucked up not getting to know you more, the depths of you and not investing in you mentally. Um, mentally, maybe even financially. I'm not going to say financially, but I feel like it's more on a mental note okay i feel like that's what people are assuming about you like they made a poor judgment call let's see what else we have what are people assuming about oh look at that i even asked nothing <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna put it back in the deck but this is something that needed to be said for somebody we have number 20 this is mirror reflection what people are assuming about you is that sometimes you can even mirror because we have the queen and the king of, of wands like you can mirror a person like if somebody's attractive you and you're attractive yourself and you date that person you speak to that individual it doesn't even have to be romantic it'd be strictly platonic and they may not even realize like damn maybe I, people do be trying to use me or damn people do just see me for my looks and things like that you get what i'm saying and sometimes when you sit there you tell people like hey like 
and you start treating people like how they treat you and shit like that. Like, why are you doing that? The same reason why you're doing it. Like, it doesn't feel good, does it? You know? What are people assuming about pal number three? What are people assuming about pal number three? We have number 31. We have globe and we also have possibility. What are people assuming about pal number three? See, people look at you as an opportunity. I'm not going to take this either, but people look at you as like an opportunity, like you're an open door, like it's easy to play with you. It's easy to like, no. Mm -mm. What are people just about pile number three? And if you're sitting here like, nah, nobody's playing with me. Look at the people that you may have had around you that you may have dated, even if it's like friendships and stuff like that. If you are someone that is attractive and you, you know, or you have a beautiful soul, like a, a natural attractive kind of um, energy about you you probably get free things you know you probably get in a club for free you probably go out to eat for free you probably get free drinks so yes people want to be around you because they do benefit off of being with you so i feel like what people are assuming about you is that they get an opportunity to do certain things because they are with you you get me it's beneficial to them not to you but for them what are people assuming about pound number three We have number 26. We have fence boundaries. And give me one more. What are people assuming about pile number three? Okay, we have number seven. We have feather messages, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we have flamingo fun. That kind of flipped out earlier. It didn't kind of, it did flip out. But what people are assuming about you is like the, um, like the, this is what I'm saying. These opportunities and stuff like that is, um, endless, okay? You have the possibility to do a lot of different things to control you know the universe and however you see fit but you don't do that because you're not that type of person i feel like you're not a user you know you don't like people using you so you're not going to use other individuals we also have i smell laundry some of you could be doing laundry some of you could be doing laundry and i also smell like fried food i don't know if somebody's eating fried food or thinking about fried food or this could be me talking my shit because i i think i'm gonna fry something today but i smell laundry some of you may like that scent that could be something that you have plugged into your house. So the laundry the laundry scent or the like the fresh air, whatever the fuck it is kind of scent, because that's what I'm smelling. Um, but we have number 26, fence boundaries. What are people assuming about you is that you have you have boundary boundaries. You have boundaries now. You give me it's not easy, it's not easy access anymore. We have number seven messages and feathers, like you're listening to your intuition and your discernment more as well. You get what I'm saying? Like, when you go through certain things, you may hear a specific song. When you go through things, you may see certain um, synchronicities. Like, you may see, like, messages and things like that. And you're just like, this relates to me. I get it. <laughs> what if you were someone about pound number three? We have apology. What are people listening about pound number three? We have denial. What are people assuming about pile number three? And we also have divine counterpart at the bottom of the deck. We have self-limited beliefs. What people are assuming about you is that they owe you an apology. They are assuming that they owe you an apology. And the reason why you're acting how like how you're acting is because nobody has a um took in accountability and apologized to you for how they treated you or want to come back into your life or want to still treat you half ass and you still allow these people into your life because like I said, you are a good um person and you may have set boundaries and things like that. You may act more standoffish and shit like that. But it's like people tend, what people are swearing about you is that I feel like, excuse me, you may be in denial that people will eventually change. You get what I'm saying? Because like I said, you have a heart of gold. Just because you look pretty and all that, you, you glitter, like that don't mean shit. You still have a heart, you have feelings, you have emotions. You get what I'm saying? I feel nauseous. Are any of you pregnant? Are any of you in a hospital? I don't know. I feel so nauseous now. And I feel like another thing that people assume about you, it's like when people do shit to you, you probably get sick to your stomach how people treat you. And it's like you would never treat people like that. So you get sick to your stomach maybe. We have divine, divine counterpart. What people are assuming about you is that they missed out on an the opportunity. They missed out on something special with the divine counterpart and the king of queen of wands. Somebody missed a good opportunity here so pile number three that's all i really have for you i hope that these messages resonated if it did let me know in the comment section i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys in the next read peace babies